Hello, dear friends. Today, I'm excited to share with you my top five methods for creating low poly rocks in Blender. Let's dive in and have some fun. First, add an icosphere by pressing Ctrl plus A. In the dialog box that appears, reduce the subdivisions to one. Next, press S to scale the sphere, and then use Shift plus Z to scale it along the X and Y axis. After that, apply the rotation and scale by pressing Ctrl plus A. Now, Switch to edit mode to refine the rock. Use Control plus Shift plus B to bevel the vertices, starting with the top vertex. Then, check the auto merge option, select any vertex, and press GG to slide the edge. Finally, repeat the beveling and edge sliding processes to shape a visually appealing rock. Add a UV sphere this time, and use S, then Z, to slightly scale it along the Z-axis. Enter edit mode and press T to open the toolbar. Select the knife tool, hold it, and change its mode to bisect. Click and drag to slice the sphere neatly. In the dialog box, check clear inner and fill to finalize the cut. Continue slicing the main mesh from different angles until you achieve the desired look. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share these methods if you found them helpful. Thank you. Finally, head to the Modifier tab, add a Decimate modifier, and reduce the ratio to finish your low-poly rock. Add a cube, then press Ctrl plus 5 to add a level 5 subdivision surface modifier and apply it. Switch to Sculpt mode and choose a brush. Either the snake hook or grab brush works great. Once you choose your brush and adjust its radius size, begin sculpting a basic rock shape. It's so simple. Just try to grab and drag the mesh to achieve a simple base mesh. Once satisfied, go to the modifier tab, add a decimate modifier, and adjust the ratio until your rock looks just right. Add a cube, and as before, Press Ctrl plus 5 to add and apply a level 5 subdivision surface modifier. Add a displacement modifier and set the mid-level to 0. Create a new texture by clicking the new button. Then click this show texture for Blender to take us to the texture tab. Here change the texture type to Voronoi. Increase the size until you're happy with the look and feel free to adjust the intensity. Apply the displacement modifier, then add a decimate modifier and reduce the ratio. Finally. To remove unnecessary polygons, apply the modifier, then switch to edit mode. Press C to activate the circle select tool, select unwanted vertices. Right click to exit circle selection and press Ctrl plus X to dissolve them. Continue this process to shape a visually appealing rock. For this last method, you need to have the bool tool activated. Go to edit, open preferences, then open the add-on section. Search for bool. If it's not activated yet, install the bool tool. Continue by adding an ICO sphere. Open the appearing dialog box here and reduce subdivisions to one. Press Shift plus D to duplicate it. Then press R to rotate it slightly. Now, with the duplicated sphere selected, hold Shift and select the original sphere as well. Then press Control plus asterisk on the numpad to activate the bool tool. Perfect. Now we have a nice rock here. You can change its look by rotating the object. This way, you can create so many variations of rocks. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these methods helpful. Let me know what you think about them and how you like to create low poly rocks. Thank you again and see you soon.